bruised apple so young so pure so why did you want to touch me why couldn't you keep your hands to yourself and just not rush me how could you even look at me and think that i was appealing when i wasn't even old enough to wear clothes that was revealing and i know that there was plenty of women out there for you to choose from probably most of them would have been even willing to give you some so why did you have to come and snatch my innocence from me just like a thief in the night, you came and stole my virginity and flee. I thought once I grew up, I got to choose the king I give it to. Now I know that's just a fairy tale that would never ever come true. And with the damage that you've done to me, I just don't know what to do. You see, my mind feels like it's on a forever run and it has to be out of shape. Because you said that this was just a game that grown-ups and kids play. Which I try to wrap my mind around it, but I still can't to this day. Soon I found out the game we played left me hurting once you were done. And seeing the blood stains in my panties, how could I tell my parents what was done? Man, there was so much blood. I knew it wasn't right. But me being so young and weak, how could I even put up a fight? So I laid there waiting, praying that you would hurry up and get done. Hell, from that day on, I knew the damage you did would never be undone. The smell of alcohol and cigarettes, I have now come to hate. Even the faintest scent of them takes me back to that day. I remember you saying, let's go over your friend's house. She wants us to come and play. Not thinking you were going to hurt me, I went with you on this day. But once we got to your friend's house, I knew something wasn't right. Because right after your friend answered the door, she was no longer in sight. It was like she knew what was going on because she left us there alone. And as soon as I heard the front door close, I knew something was wrong. You patted the seat next to you and asked me to come sit down. Right then, I wish I would have just told you, please take me home right now. But I chose to sit next to you, which had determined my fate. And you scooped me up so fast in your arms, I couldn't even get away. You carried me to the bedroom, laid me down on the bed, ripped off all my clothes as I lay there in shock with a million things going through my head. Like, should I tell my mom and dad, since this is only just a game? Because I've never played this game before, and I knew afterwards I would never be the same. And for a while there I wasn't. I felt so ashamed. But then one day my inner queen woke up, and she looked me in my face. She said, my dear, you are so strong with the trials that's been placed in your way. Just walk with your head held high, and do not let this determine your fate. Please understand that God has been with you, even on this day. He knows the journey that you've gone to go on before you even woke up today. But he knew you were strong enough to endure so much pain. And that, my queen, is why your crown shines brighter than any queen you've ever faced.